An abandoned car on the important main supply route from Fallujah to Baghdad instantly made the Marines of Dragon Platoon suspicious. We were on patrol with this weapons company from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, when they secured the area and eventually used an armored Humvee to push the car off the side of the road. When it happened... The Marines call this a vehicle-borne IED, improvised explosive device. Translation, car bomb. The Marines believe it was detonated remotely by an insurgent trigger man, watching and waiting for the right moment to injure or kill as many U.S. troops as possible. In this case, nobody was seriously hurt. The blast blew CNN cameraman David Albritton back 12 feet. I'm staying here. Can I check on my cameraman? I saw he was okay and picked up my minicam to help record what was happening right in front of us. Marines climbing into the flaming Humvee to get ammunition out. Ammo that could blow and cause other casualties. You okay? Yeah, it knocked me down. I think I, I just got hit by a little piece of shrapnel. It, cut, it breaks the skin. Marines coming in. Reinforcement troops arrived. Apache helicopters provided close air support. And the Marines of Dragon Platoon continued fighting flames to salvage anything from the Humvee that might be of use to insurgents, including the 50 caliber machine gun mounted in the turret. That lucky Marine, Lance Corporal Jason Hunt, told me he thought he was going to die. Then he walked by me to immediately pull security while his fellow Marines continued to deal with the smoking Humvee. They will all be out on patrol, hunting for improvised explosive devices, again, tomorrow. That was pretty cool. Consider myself Alex Quaid, CNN, near Abu Ghraib Prison, Iraq.